we do a line called London Line, which is enormously successful. And uh, as part of that, I decided to do this little collection called British Collection. Most of it is to do with uh, playing with scale. As a designer, you're always playing with proportion, scale, uh, and that's what we've done with the fabric, you know. This is a, a fabric which has been engineered, as you can see from the large piece, in stripes, which then, when you make it up, you can actually make the lapels darker using the same piece of fabric. The British collection is using just one mill from uh, the north of England called Clissold, and they've been really cooperative and have uh, been working with me on ideas, so they've really made the effort. This is probably the one that's going to work uh, really, really well in terms of sales. It gives this really interesting effect. When you look at the back, you can see it's a very slimming effect because it's got this straight line at the back of the jacket. Here you can see the Union flag really clearly, but here it's just more of an abstracted pattern, which uh, I think is really fun. Of course, over the years since I started, there's been lots of other new high-tech fabrics that have arrived, but I still tend to stick with, with my wool. I've always been a fan of natural fibres, so uh, cotton for shirts and wool for the rest. Cool wool is, is very important for us because we're selling in 72 countries around the world and a lot of the countries we sell to are very hot. Cool wool has really helped us with that. A lot of our clients are actors, uh, fashion designers, architects, graphic designers, the people are on aeroplanes, trains, uh, travelling all the time. So you need that um, fabrics that have got life, you know. We've made some ties in the actual uh, suit fabric. It's another little bit of perfection that we were looking for with this particular uh, collection. Some of my visitors today will never have seen a, a, a suit or a jacket anyway, uh, partly made. It's really just a way of, of just showing them the, the processes. Paul Smith is always described as classic with a twist and uh, I think that's what you can see here really, really well. <laughs> 